This is on Kaparinga Conservation Park and we are here because we would like to spot kangaroos. As you can see on the way up here, we saw a kangaroo crossing in the street and hope we can spot a lot more kangaroos here. And they are wild kangaroos and we already spot a lot of dead kangaroos in the streets. Um, I think we saw three. So now hopefully we can spot more and more kangaroos here at Onkaparinga River. And I would like to talk also, a follow up talk about the Trades Recognition Australia, which is a TRA that I have explained earlier on my first video about immigration and citizenship here in Australia. So which way are we going? Here, there. I think we go this way. Yeah, guys, so about the Trades Recognition Australia, if you would like to get assist in TRA, last 2015, I just want to share to you that the assessment is through paper. We send all the documents, the certified true copy in the post. And then now it's already online and all you have to do is to submit your skills assessment and about the documents you just need to attach all the documents online and for whatever outcome you will be emailed hey kanga hello hi babies hey now we are here at the official website of the trades recognition australia and i would like to discuss to you on how to apply migration skills assessment or msa so we click here the programs so all the programs of trades recognition australia will appear here so they have the job ready program tss skills assessment program offshore skills assessment program and we are looking for the migration skills assessment this one here so we click on that the migration skills assessment is defined here so um, you need to have a migration skills assessment if you want to apply for the department of home affairs for skilled migration visa for example the visa 189 and 190 now let's check if you are eligible so you must have a qualification directly related to your nominated occupation and you have the required amount of experience in your occupation so the minimum experience is three years for the msa and additionally your occupation must be listed in the skills occupation list on the department of home affairs website and the trades recognition australia is your assessing authority and please note here that you cannot apply for msa if you are required to be assist through offshore skills assessment program so that means that if you are outside australia and i will discuss that separately or the temporary skill shortage skills assessment program so it's a temporary visa so you don't want to apply temporary visa but i will discuss it later on too so let's say for example your occupation is a chef and you would like to check if you are eligible to apply for a visa 189 or 190 first thing you need to do is to check the skilled occupation list this one open that up 
and then you can see if the chef is listed in the skills occupation list so this is the occupation list and you browse down so you can research quickly for the chef occupation and then click this one so here it is the occupation chef appeared so that means the occupation chef is available in australia occupation list and this is the code and if you click this code this will appear the australian and new zealand standard classification of occupation so this is the requirement for the chef and you can determine here if you are qualified or not so let's check the requirements for the chef basically they will enumerate the chef's scope of job and the skill level so if you read all of those scope of job that will be good now let's look at the skill level of the chef so in Australia, you must have an equivalent qualification as AQF Associate Degree, Advanced Diploma or Diploma, and you must be in the skill level 2. In New Zealand, it's NZ Register Diploma, skill level 2. And if you have at least three years of relevant experience, it may substitute for your formal qualification, but it's still subject to assessment. And listed below are the chef tasks, so you must read all of them. And additionally, below the list of a skill level to specialization. So I don't have any idea because I'm not a chef, but I know if you're a chef, you know that. So please read them. Okay, so after checking your eligibility and the requirements of being a chef, then let's go now on how to apply migration skills assessment. Once we know that we are qualified for the migration skills assessment, then we go back to this website and scroll below and let's see the migration skills assessment application guide on how to apply so you need to read this so that you will know on how to apply migration skills assessment and you can apply for msa through online portal so this is what i told you online now so here you basically register you don't have any login yet so you cannot sign in so you need to register but before that we should go back to the migration skills assessment guidelines so we know everything so this is the guideline there are two uh, forms the pdf form and the document form so we need to download the pdf form just click download and then open the file so this is it this is the msa guidelines i cannot read all of them because it's too long we just go to the most important part of these guidelines this one how to apply migration skills assessment and this is online so let's discuss first in here register you need to complete the online registration as what i've showed you when you click on the online portal you will go to the register and you complete the form then upload your evidence your qualification employment then review documentation and then submit so these are the steps that you need to undergo and when you scroll down continue reading there are the guidelines for the documents and if not in english the fee migration skills assessment 1000 and you read all of them these are very important guidelines about your qualification it's explained here and then the documents that you need to submit for your qualifications your employment and this is the employment requirement three years full-time and right after qualification was issued so after you graduated your qualification you must have three years experience here 
And there are more readings below, so please read all of them because these are some very important points if you are applying TRA. And that's basically it for the MSA, everyone. And if you want to go back to the points table for the Visa 189 or 190 guidelines, then we need to go to the points table for Visa 189 if you want to check if you are eligible or if you have 65 points. So remember that this is the points table for a skilled independent visa. So you should read all of them and then you calculate your points according to your circumstance. If you reach the 65 points, then you may be eligible to apply if you have a positive migration skills assessment in TRA or wherever you want to get assist. If you don't know how to calculate, then use the points calculator here on this website. You saw another kanga, babe. Can you see? He's eating. Yeah. He saw me. What's happening to that? What's happening to the bird? If only we can drive up to here, no? Oh, oh, this is it. Come on, babe, let's do it. Hmm? Let's go down. You okay? Yeah. Or are you scared? Hmm? And so guys and girls, this is the Onkaparinga River. I can see your water now. It's really a river. This is the end of it. Necessarily have to do So that's it for today's video everyone. I hope you learned something about rates recognition Australia and if you have more questions please comment below and I will try to answer all your queries. See you when I see you. Love you. See you in Australia. Bye.